The first step to getting started with SOLIDWORKS is actually the download and installation of the program itself. Let's take a look at the steps needed so you can get up and running in no time. To start, we can access the SOLIDWORKS customer portal. This can be accessed via SOLIDWORKS.com with the silhouette icon in the top right, or alternatively, you can go to customerportal.solidworks.com. Once we try to access the SOLIDWORKS customer portal, we will be asked to log in with a SOLIDWORKS ID. If you do not yet have a SOLIDWORKS ID, we have the option to create a SOLIDWORKS ID. With this option, it will guide us to a page in which we can enter our email address, as well as a serial number associated with the SOLIDWORKS license that you have just gotten started with. Once you enter in this information, you can go ahead and select the next button, and that will give you confirmation of your company information, and you can carry on with the creation of your SOLIDWORKS ID. Once your SOLIDWORKS ID is created, you can go back to that login page via the SOLIDWORKS.com silhouette icon dropdown and select to log in with your newly created credentials. This will load the SOLIDWORKS customer portal. We can then access the downloads and updates section under the download area of the customer portal, and this is where you will download SOLIDWORKS. If you see any lock icons here, you can go to the register my products, and on this page, you will be able to enter in your serial number. This is also where you will go if you already have a SOLIDWORKS ID, but have not yet registered your SOLIDWORKS serial number. Once everything in your customer portal is unlocked and you have accessed the downloads and updates section, it will load you to a page where you can select the current version that you would like to install and you can then select the current service pack you would like to install. Once you select that link, you'll be led to the license agreement. Once you read through that, you can go ahead and accept the agreement and continue. This will lead you to a page where you can then download the installation manager. Go ahead and launch the SOLIDWORKS setup executable and then unzip the files associated with this executable. This will then launch the installation manager for SOLIDWORKS. You can then specify the type of installation. We are going to show a standard installation via serial number activation. And here on this page, you can go ahead and enter in the individual products you would like to have serial numbers associated to on your computer and enter those serial numbers into the boxes provided. Upon selecting next, it will go ahead and connect to SOLIDWORKS and check the serial numbers you have just entered onto that previous page. If you already have a previous year of SOLIDWORKS installed on your device, it will ask you if you would like to create a new installation of the current year, or if you would like to upgrade the current installation to the new year. You will then be brought to a summary page in which you can then see the dropdowns for products, download options, installation options, and toolbox and whole wizard options. By editing the products, we are able to choose specifically what products we would like installed. This can reduce your download and installation times by removing objects you do not need on your device. Jumping into the download options, we have the options to download and install, download only, or if you already have the installation files locally on your device, you can choose to install only. As a default, we'll go ahead and leave that as download and install. Now, under the installation location, it will give you a default installation location in your local C drive. As a default, it's good practice to go ahead and add the year of the SOLIDWORKS installation you are carrying out in parentheses after this to distinguish these from future installations. You can carry out this same process with the toolbox and whole wizard options. Once you have all of those settings completed, you can go ahead and accept the terms of SOLIDWORKS and continue with the download and installation. This will then go through and download all of the installation files for you as a first step. Once all of the files have been downloaded, it will prompt you that an installation is scheduled to begin. You can go ahead and start that now or wait for that timer to complete and start it for you. The installation manager will then proceed with installing SOLIDWORKS. Once that's complete, you can then choose to see what's new in the SOLIDWORKS of the current version and choose whether or not you would like to join the SOLIDWORKS Customer Experience Improvement Program. Once you select the Finish, the SOLIDWORKS installation will be complete. We can now see that we have SOLIDWORKS available on our device, and if we go to launch it, we will then be prompted for the activation of the licenses associated with that installation. We can then choose to go ahead and activate these, choose the licenses you would like to activate, enter in your email address, and select Next to go through with the activation of these licenses. And there you have it. SOLIDWORKS is now installed and ready for you to use. Happy designing.